Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, helping you to solve the puzzle of level 469, where we have 50 moves to bring down 4 ingredients, which will get us the 40,000 points. The ingredients are going to come from any one of these, or several of these, gumball machines, and we can place them in any of these columns. The problem is <laughs> clearing out all of the frosting and the chocolate between here and there. So we're obviously going to look for specials we can make, anything we can do to take out the frosting here. This is one, two, three, four, five layers thick of frosting. So we're going to have to work diligently on this. We're, we're going to be using probably almost all of those 50 moves, and it's going to be a little bit tedious, the work. Sometimes we won't even have but one move we can make, and we might even get some automatic shuffles out of this. Now, besides the fact that we have frosting and chocolate as a detriment, we also have the ingredients, which can be detrimental because it's a space that the candy can't stay in. And so it's just kind of in our way often. All right, now the chocolate is currently open and it cannot consume over here. It's going to have to consume this way. And so I'm contemplating if I want to go ahead and do something here. I'm going to wait just a little bit and see if I can match it with a special, but I'm not going to wait long. Yeah, I'm going to take out everything that's red. It's going to concentrate the colors on the board and it's going to help me to make specials. Unfortunately, I'm making specials that are going to be consumed immediately by chocolate, but still, I made that special. Right there, I made that. Let's see if we can make some more specials in here. Oh, and this combo, don't eat it, there we go. Now, I can do several different things. You know, I could use this coconut wheel. What I'm going to do is take out all of the chocolate on this level, let the coconut wheel go wherever it's going to go, probably set off some more coconut wheels, and just have a little detonation celebration. Um, we have so much work to do that we need these huge moves. So anytime you can pair a special together, it's going to be make a significant dent in what we have to do. Now notice we've got ingredients on both sides of the board here, so we necessarily have to attack both sides of the board. One strategy would be to try to get the ingredients just to come down on one side, but I find that an almost impossible goal because you're so tight in the beginning you have to work both sides of the board. Uh, sometimes even when it is difficult it's it's a worthwhile strategy, but on this level I don't see a strong advantage to it. Oh, here we go again. Well, look at this. All right, so we're going to pair this up again. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and let this detonate, I think. I don't see a strong advantage in taking out all of the blue or something like that. Well, it's either blue or orange. The orange would offset this. I'm going to do this and let this take out whatever it will, and it's still going to concentrate the colors. But these candy matches, when, when we can make them, are spectacular and worth fighting for a little bit. So I have 10 moves left. I want to make the most of it. I have three of my ingredients on the board. And I have a big concentration of purple over here. There we go. Now once this is removed, the next move should bring an ingredient down. Here we go. And we didn't have to wait for next move, we got a nice cascade. So it's a very straightforward 
strategy. This is more of one of those workhorse levels. You just have to keep plugging away uh, until you get the results that you want. The points were not an issue. Um, if you're still struggling, bring in some boosters, and if that's not working, then put something in the comment section telling me specifically what's hanging you up, and I'll see what I can do to help you. If you want to see more videos, you can always subscribe. Thanks for watching.